I'm studying at UAL at the University of New York, London and I'm studying film and television. I moved one year ago, no, two years ago because I wanted to uh, do journalism but I always wanted to be a filmmaker actually and I tried, I applied for this amazing university and they, they accepted me. For example, if I tell someone that I'm studying arts in Italy, they will laugh at me. Here in London it's not like that. Here in London I said, oh, I'm, I'm studying arts. And everyone's like, wow, that's amazing. Like, what kind of arts are you doing? Or what are your ideas? Where do you want to work? And everyone is like so interested. In Italy it's the opposite, which is frustrating because I put so much effort in my work and these people, they just don't care. We don't even have funds for the arts in Italy, which is disappointing because we have so many great minds and no one cares. Art is left dying and no one cares. They just care about economy, which is frustrating. Here it's not like that. And England is heaven for this because they care which is the most important thing. I have a lot of friends that I work in here and they, had, they just left Italy because they wanted to do something else with their life because you have opportunities here. Like, you don't have to know someone to be someone. No, you just work, which is amazing. Basically, there's this party in England that it's called UKIP. UKIP is the Lega Nord in Italy. They want to close the United Kingdom and don't let anyone come here. This is, everyone is gonna say, oh no, it's not like that. No, it's like this. Basically, it's this. And <clears throat> David Cameron, he said like, yeah, we should do something like that. Just now. This is not possible because the greatest thing of United Kingdom is how diverse it is. You go to a place and you won't find like just someone from just one nationality. There's gonna be everyone from different places and that's that's amazing. We are a lot and everywhere you go you're gonna listen to someone talking in Italian. It's impressive, like, I've met so many Italians here. We're a huge community. Still, we are divided. We don't have, like, for example, I live in Alephaden Castle and it's the Colombian place where, like, ghetto, let's say, where everyone from Colombia is here. And they decided to be united. Or, like, there's the Polish one on the Arabic one, the Islamic one, or the Jewish one, there is not the Italian one. The problem is that London is being romanticized. People in Italy think it, um, London is the promised land, so they come here thinking it's gonna be amazing and I'm gonna have this, this and that, and then they come here and they say that you have to work, you literally have to work. You have to get up at 5 a.m. and you don't know what time you're gonna go back home. Just for what? To pay your rent. So, it's not worth it. If you don't have a plan, don't come to London. Don't move from your country if you don't have a plan. Stay in Italy, stay next to people that you love because if you come here, but you don't have anything, you don't have anyone, you don't have a plan, you don't know what to do. Why are you doing that? You're just ruining yourself. It doesn't mean it's not worth it.